I really doubt that we're going to see an inflationary cycle. It will have a temporary or transitory impact. The faster than expected increase in some of those prices is actually a good sign. The overwhelming consensus is going to pop up a little bit and then go back down. No one's talking about this great, great deal. This is something that will uh, settle down. Transitory. <laughs> Transitory. <laughs> Most of the price increases we've seen are were expected and are expected to be temporary. It's un highly unlikely that it's going to be long-term inflation that's going to get out of hand. I don't know anybody who's worried about inflation. Over the last couple of months, uh, we actually saw it trended downward. President Biden's chief of staff, Ron Klain, enthusiastically retweeted an economist who had said in part, most of the economic problems we're facing, inflation, supply chains, etc., are high class problems. Well, the number one thing that the president can do is help get COVID under control. Uh, that we know is the root cause of inflation. President Biden this afternoon saying he thinks we're at the peak of the crisis right now and that lower prices are on the way. The inflation has everything to do with the supply chain. Make no mistake, inflation is largely the fault of Putin. If you want to get rid of inflation, the only way to do it is to um, re undo a lot of the Trump tax cuts. And our inflation rates are lower than other nations in the world. The inflation we're seeing is due to the pandemic. When inflation hit a new high last week, the administration of President Biden called the numbers out of date. I just want to say a number, zero. Today, we received news that our economy had zero percent inflation. When I hear people talk about inflation, as I heard them there, we have to change that subject. Inflation is a global phenomenon.